Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com, and today we're going to show you how to unroot the HTC Sensation 4G. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you need to set up ADB. Uh, so you can head to this link right here, and that'll take you to our how to set up ADB procedure. Follow the procedure, um, and then you should be able to see your device's serial number in the command prompt at the end of that procedure. If you can, then you're all set. You can come back to this procedure and continue. Okay, so now you need to download the RUU, which is the ROM update utility from HTC. There's a good list of them here at this link, so you're going to click on that. And make sure that you choose the right one for your device. Uh, the majority of people, I'm guessing, are in the States, and they're probably using T-Mobile. Um, so you'll notice that T-MO-US is listed within these. Just choose the one with the latest file. So 129, 127. We're going to go for the 129. If you're not using T-Mobile US, then just pick whichever one is for your specific carrier. Uh, WWE means Worldwide Edition. That's usually for unlocked phones. Um, and then obviously you'll see you know, different phone companies, UK, Vodafone France, etc. So you're going to choose the one that you need. Click it. And download that. Okay, then while you're waiting for that to download on your device, we're going to go to Menu, Settings, scroll down to Applications, then Development, and then make sure that US Debugging is checked on. It should be checked on if you did our ADB procedure because you needed that to complete that procedure, but we're just going to double check while things are downloading. Since that is okay, we're then going to plug in the device by USB cable. And when it asks you the connection type, just select charge only and hit done. Okay, so once that's downloaded and your device is plugged in and has USB debugging on, we're gonna right click the RUU and hit run as administrator. If you don't have that option, just click open, that's fine. Wait for it to boot up. Okay, we're basically just going to follow the steps. So, yes, I understand. We'll update the ROM image. Okay, great. Next. Do all of those things. Make sure your battery's at least 30%. Oh, I've completed the steps. Then next. It's gonna check our Android phone. Make sure it's the right phone. And we're going to say update. Hit next, and next. And your phone should reboot automatically into bootloader mode. Possibly install some drivers. And then eventually it will start the progress bar at the top, updating HBoot, etc., etc. So just wait for this to finish. Okay, so once the device finally reboots, uh, we're going to leave it plugged in. 
but we're going to go through the setup process, just skip it for the most part. And wait for it to boot up. Then hit menu, settings, scroll down to applications, development, and turn on USB debugging because it would have been turned off by all of that resetting we did. And then hit home. Okay, and eventually once it's done it'll say your ROM update has been completed, your Android phone is now ready for use. You can click finish. Ignore that. Um, and then what we need to do is, now we've kind of flashed all the basic firmware on there, but we still have uh, S off. Now to completely be stock, we need to get S on in the bootloader. So we're gonna do step seven here. Go to the start menu, type in CMD and hit enter. Bring up a command prompt. And then in the command prompt, we're going to type uh, and you're going to type exactly that if you followed our ADB procedure or it'll be something similar. You basically need to get to your Android SDK and inside the platform tools folder. Okay, then we're going to type ADB reboot bootloader. Oops. Reboot with a hyphen, and your device should reboot. And once it does, we're going to type fast boot OEM write secure flag three and hit enter. I'll say finished, then fast boot reboot hyphen boot loader. And the device will reboot into bootloader mode. And now on your device you should see bootloader mode with S on at the very top. It means everything worked. We're gonna go push volume down and then power to reboot. And once your device reboots, it is now completely stock with S on uh, the standard recovery image, everything, it's ready to be sent back for either warranty or if you wanted to sell it, anything like that. There you go.